What's up guys, Corvus and A5P and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So on today's episode, we're kinda gonna get some preparation for the succession. Basically, um, we're currently 76. We have to live for 10 years. So until we are... We have to live 5 more years until we can en enact elective monarchy, which is my goal for this character. If she can make it to 81, I'll be happy. I'm shocked she made it to 76 already. And after that, I'm not electing my son, because he's 52 at this point. And I'm probably not going to elect any of my daughters either, because they're getting on in age as well. But I may elect this daughter, granddaughter. She's orthodox for some reason. That's probably because our mother's. <laughs> okay, so they're all orthodox, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, maybe I'll go to a different um, line of the family. Can we go for this one? She's 27. I want someone young. Well, five years time, she'll be 13. He's dead. And he's a bishop. For this one. I have a great granddaughter, a great grandson. I've kind of went the wrong way, I think. Oh no, this is my granddaughter. The Duchess of Silesia. She's not of my dynasty, however. Oh, because this was my heart. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so... We are going to... Well, let's get this girl married off. Matrilineally. Just to anyone. Like, of a young age. Who she can have children with. Sure, this guy. Marry him. So she's gonna marry him. They're gonna have children. And possibly her child I'll use. Um, at the minute, I think it's gonna be this girl. Adele Carlin. A second one. She is 68 years younger than me. She's fussy. So we'll get her educated. Let me actually educate her myself. So I'm her direct guardian, and we need a marshal, because our previous one died. We'll get the Count, of, the Count Arnold of Bourget. So we will train troops in the capital. Everyone else is doing a job. I think we also need to get off, get married off the family members who haven't. So he can't, because he's the... Right, so this girl... This girl will be perfect, but she's orthodox. So I'm very... <laughs> Invite the court, maybe? No. Okay, they're not in my court, which is why they're not married off. Fair enough. Um, I'm thinking about attacking Burgundy, if I could get claim. Let me just start the game running. And we're going for a claim on Anjou. We're just trying... Yeah, good. We're just trying to get as many lands under us as we can. So... Let us hope so. Nice. Levy reinforcement right straight away. And we need to wait until 43. And we improved the cardinal's opinion of us. As you can see, we are currently the strongest person in the realm, comparably to the king. He only has 8,000 troops, it said, but he has more than that. He 
has no children, so his brother's gonna take over. His brother does have a lot of children. Can we kill off his children? Not that one. We could kill that one. Etienne. He was in a matrilineal marriage. Well, it's agnetic at the minute, so I can't even get elected. There's no real point. I may have to become a male character just for a while to get the kingdom. And then I can go back to being a female character. Right, well... Okay, we are fallen in love with our husband. And why is the French army moving all the way over here? Oh, it might get smashed by some Hungarians. That would be amazing. Ah, oh, it's only 4,000. Come on, do loads of damage to yourself, France. It would be hilarious if the French lost their entire army. But I'm just thinking. Where is the French army? He's probably leading. No, he's hiding. Um, this guy. Where are you? You're over here. You're in Bihar. So you are here. So he's over here. And the French are sieging this province. I'm just thinking, if I declared war on the King of France, would he be able to get his troops over before I could siege Paris? Because I have a claim on Paris and... No, just Paris at the minute. Unfortunately. I wonder, can I appoint advisors at this point in the game? No, I can't have an advisor. Because I'd like to have someone actually, like, one of my guys. I suppose this guy's not much worse if he wants to be on the council. Team in my capital, please. And the Liege Council, two dislike him massively and one really likes him. His region dislikes him. Of course, I can get no plop out because he's hidden away. But because of that, he has no diplomacy whatsoever. It's quite interesting because he's been in hiding for a long time. And it's all because his wife's trying to kill him. I know it's his qu it's a queen mother. I thought it was his wife. No, it's his sister. What's the dangerous faction? Increased council power. Can you know? Um, by favour? 108 gold. Can I tell him to stop doing this then? So who was this? This is Borgier. Um, so that's 11.06% I can change it in May. So I'm going to move him to Borgier. Actually, but he's not in Borgier, is he? He's in Vermont de Wa. So it looks like the other guy left, he did. Can you not, please? You like me, so why are you doing this? Um, overthrow him, who would take charge? They would get full council authority and elective monarchy. Well, I want to be king, or queen, I suppose. 
Why won't you let me? Why won't let you let me get a claim anymore? I was gonna say if that I just revolted, I may have declared war for it. I suppose I don't have the duchy yet, so I can't. We've got barracks built in Rechnal, back up to 800 or so gold. This seems to be the thing, in the time it takes for it to build, I rebuild the gold that I spent. I mean, I'm going more than that at the minute. Nice, very nice. Let's see, what's the religion map at the moment? It's no heresies here. I'm fine losing prestige to not make someone who already is forming factions against me dislike me even more. I guess I'm plus 70. One, but he's forming a faction against me. It makes no sense. Thank you. Come on, give me a claim. On the county of Anjou. Oh, on the, sorry, on the duchy of Anjou. So then I can move it to Paris and get a claim on the duchy of Valois. Why are you trying to kill my husband every single time? Well, no, I'm not sending him into hiding. Kill him if you have to. If you have to kill him, kill him. I'll just get a new one. All he's there for is to boost my stats, and I have 51 state diplomacy. That's ridiculous. It's an insane amount. Alright, what's going on? So, Aquitaine is at war with us. Yeah, trying to make Queen Constanza pay, t pay tribute. Oh, wait. Young Adele needs an education trait, so she's fussy, willful, and playful. So she wouldn't do well as a diplomat. So do okay as a martial character. Playful. Intrigue character. Let's go Marshall. There's a reason for this, because it'll get me more troops. That's the idea, anyway. It'll get me a lot more troops doing that. Okay. So if this guy could get me renewed jihad, so the House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in Africa. In response, his magnificence, Caliph Milad, has declared that an era of renewed jihad is upon the world. The western regions of the Ummah must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of Mujahideen. The upcoming struggles. This signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. Disturbing news. So something's been conquered by. Okay, Pisa conquered this area. Makes sense. I don't know why they were the ones who conquered it. Because they're a merchant republic. Wow. Oh, I've never saw them do that before. Okay, so we need this guy to give me a claim. It's the thing I've been waiting for forever. One more year and we can pass elective success. In its elective monarchy, I want not elective gavel king. There's our eldest son. He's 56. Which is crazy. Why does Agnag Cognac Primogenitor not pass to my granddaughters from this guy before it passes to my daughter. Um, daughter was born Elodie Carling. 
from so this is my great granddaughter this is the one I actually wanted can you not be a stupid religion thank you um next what was I going to do? I was going to wait for this to pass. So when can I pass it? 19th of July, 11.43. we got about seven months. Why is the HRA attacking us again? Bull gone. So down here. Let's have a look at empires. Okay, that's a worry. They're actually attacking de jure France. Oh, it's because they own the Kingdom of Burgundy. Okay, not worried anymore. They're not going to attack me, which is all I care about. They can weaken France as much as they want. Come on, July, come along quickly. So, the Pope is a wicked priest. Yeah, kind of makes sense. Oh, that's zero intrigue. So, the Pope would be pretty easy to kill. Training grounds have been built. It's nice. I wonder if we could get a retinue. We could. What's our special? Heavy cavalry and light cut. Ooh, we can pass the law. No, we can't. Why is it not landing with? Because no vassal has a negative opinion of me. It's not true. This guy is minus three. Yeah, have some money. There we go. Elective monarchy. And now... Who do I want to elect? Well, who has the highest diplomacy? This girl. Who has the highest marshal? This guy, but well, why would I elect him? This girl still. She's by far the best. And... Why is that... Why is my... Granddaughter not available? Well, I guess we'll go for... Matilda. She's 59 though. Why are none of the young ones here? Like, what's her name? This girl's daughter. She's 13. I want to elect her. Well, let's go for Matilda. She's unmarried. Let's go matrilinely married off. Just some random person. This guy. Okay. And my character dies now, I'll become her. And my Chancellor dies. Great! Let's find an actual good Chancellor. One who can actually get my claims. Okay, so men. Not in prison. Can be married, not a ruler, can be of a great house, has to be an adult, has to be my religious group, has to have amazing. Invite to court. Nice, 26. Crazy. 26 is a lot. There you go, don't get me playing on tours. This will be quite nice. What? Why? What happened to my other air? Oh. That's not good. They're not voting for the one I wanted. Um. Vote for the one I want, please. Vote for Ralph, then. Okay, so this isn't going to work. I was expecting no one else to get a vote because I was only Dutch at. Why is everyone voting for this guy? 
He likes me. Vote for my character. Are you really going to make me live an extra 10 years so I can change this? I can't change it either. Okay, so I messed up massively here, guys. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the game. But I will see you on the next episode where we'll try and sort this out. We're going to have to get another duchy title and make that our primary duchy and then change that title. Or change that succession law. But I'm going to have to live, that means, until I turn 91 at the minimum. Which is insane. So, I don't know what we're going to do. I suppose I could try and create the Duchy of Berry. I would have to con conquer to us for that. So, that's what I'm going to aim to do on the next episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. These videos have been doing decently well. They've been doing the best of all my videos, the Crusader Kings 2. So, keep up that support. And from Makeovers95, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.